I am still talking about the concept of the church which I started talking about yesterday because I believe this um, teaching is going to help you if you can understand what God have in mind when the church of Jesus Christ was, you know, was created on the face of the earth shortly after Jesus rose again on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Good morning. My name is Joseph Adenuga. I'm the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, South Africa. As usual, I'm here to encourage you with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you know that the gospel of Jesus is the extremely good news of God that sounds to be too good to be true, and yet it is true. Today, I pray that the power of God will make a way for you where there is no way. Whatever situation stands along your path like Red Sea shall part ways today. God will take you from where you are to where you want to be. The Lord will bless you mightily. The Lord will make those who hate you to bow down before you. May you increase from strength to strength. May the promotion that comes only from God be your portion today. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Today I just want to continue from where I stopped yesterday, talking about the church of Jesus Christ. There is an error in the church when competition sets in. You see, when pastors are trying to outdo each other with things, some people are even manufacturing things in order to get things done. Let me tell you, the church of Jesus Christ is the body of Christ on the face of the earth. Jesus Christ, when he ascended up on high, according to the book of Ephesians chapter 4, he said he, he, he took captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Some he gave them apostles, some prophets, pastors, evangelists, and teachers. Now, these are the gifts, the ministry gifts that God gave to men. So, God raised up these gifts in men in order to be a blessing to the church. You see, apostles and prophets are supposed to be gifts to the body of Christ. You see, when, you, when, a, when a prophet rises, he's not supposed to be a threat to any pastor. A prophet is supposed to be a gift to all the church because prophets are gifts to the body of Christ. You see, apostles are gifts to the body of Christ. Evangelists are gifts to the body of Christ. These ministry gifts are not called to be in competition with every other one. You see, when a, an apostle is operating, I'm supposed to enjoy the ministry of the apostle. I'm supposed to enjoy the ministry of the prophet. It's not a competition. When you look at the life of Jesus, it's a life of love. When he was going, he said, he love one another. He was washing the feet of the disciple, the master, washing the feet of the disciples. And he said, go and do likewise. Love one another. Serve one another. Anyone who wants to be the greatest must be the servant of all. You see, Christianity is a, is a strange life. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a, is a kind of a life where the greatest serve the, the smallest. It is a life of sacrifice. It is a life of love. It is a life of giving. It is not a life of competition, talking down other pastors or people. You see, see, the pulpit is a platform that God gave to pastors and ministers to pull people out of the pit. Not to talk about other people, condemn other pastors. You see, when that is happening, something is fundamentally wrong. And this is why I used to tell people, you see, when your pastor continues to criticize other pastors, think again. Think again. Think again. You see, we are called to bless people. My assignment is to pull people out of the pit where the devil has pushed them. There is one central enemy of every pastor, one central enemy of every church, and that enemy is the devil. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, it said, be, vi be, be, be vigilant, be careful, be sober, because your adversary, which means enemy, is moving about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. We have an enemy. The Bible says that 
Be, be strong in the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wise of the devil. Is that because we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. We are fighting against demons, not people, not pastors, not prophets. We are fighting against demons. Hallelujah. You need to understand that God's heart is bleeding when pastors are fighting each other. God's heart is bleeding when we criticize one another. We are leaving the real major enemy. We are fighting each other. And that is what is making the devil to be happy. You see, we, we need to understand that the church of Jesus is, a, is an undivided entity. is one body. He said there is one baptism, there is one faith. And let me tell you this. If you become a child of God, you have become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And when God imparts righteousness to you, righteousness in your life is, different, is not different from my own righteousness. There is no higher degree of righteousness. Righteousness is righteousness. Born again is born again. There is no one who is more born again than another. The born again experience is the blessing of God that God imparts to you. Once you are born again, you are born again. It's the same. We are the same. Hallelujah. Some people believe maybe because they perform more miracles, they are better than others. That's a mistake. That's an error. You may perform all the miracles in this world. You are not better than other people. We are the same. This is the word of God. Hallelujah. Although callings are higher and different. But you see, you know, there are some people who are called into higher callings. But that does not make them to be better or different. We are all the same. We are called to the same life. We have the same eternal life. The eternal life that you carry when you give your life to Jesus is the same eternal life that is given to me when I give my life to Jesus. Everyone has got the same eternal life. Hallelujah. And one eternal life is not better than the other eternal life. Hallelujah. We are brothers. We should love one another. We should care for one another. We should, you know, have one another's back. We should fight a central enemy. And that enemy is the devil. You should be glad when somebody goes to another person's church. You see, if you are a pastor, somebody goes to another church, be glad. Because if the person has not gone to a witch doctor, he's gone to another place. Let me tell you, Jesus Christ loves everyone, even the sinners. Let's love one another. Let's care for one another. Let's give to one another. Let's stop criticizing each other. Let's stop talking about the downfall of each other. We are a united army. Let's stand together and God will bless us together. This is what God has sent me to tell you this morning. And I believe it is well with your soul. I'd like you to rebroadcast this. If this is rebroadcasted to you, I do send this on a daily basis. And if you can just save my number and WhatsApp me, to keep you, to, to, to register you on my list, then I'll be sending to you. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Save that number and WhatsApp me. I'll send this to you. And if God is leading you to give anything to this ministry to support us so that we can spread this word to more people around the world, call that number or WhatsApp that number and I'll tell you how you can remit. Or you can simply send... MTN recharge card to, to, to that number and it can also be a part of your contribution and it's going to be a blessing to us and to you. Thank you so much for listening. I believe the Lord is with you and the power of the Holy Ghost is upon your life and God is keeping you and you will be healthy and stronger than your enemy in Jesus' name. Thank you once again, Joseph Adenunga, the pastor of Prevailing Church, signing out and saying to you, be blessed. And remain blessed.